Hey guys, so today I'm going to be discussing eSun ABS filament. A couple weeks ago was the 3D print show down in Pasadena, and a huge shout out to Cam over at 3D Prints LA for grabbing me this big old sample pack of filament from the eSun booth. I mean, there's a whole boatload of stuff in here, as you can tell. Got some hips, PVA, cleaning stuff, all kinds of good stuff. What I was interested in was the ABS. Recently I saw a video from Angus over at Maker's Muse who was discussing how he really liked it, but I was decided for myself, you know what? Maybe I'm gonna try my Ultimaker. I've never done ABS, and when I do big prints like this for myself, just to have as a little show off piece, using a $60 spool of filament isn't exactly economical when you can get a lot more for a lot less with the e sign. So let's see how this stuff prints out on both small models, in which case we have the little Marvin 3D from 3D Hubs, which I scaled up a little bit, and also a even larger model that fits within the filament capabilities that I have, which would be the 3D Benchy model. So let's get that guy printing on the printer as soon as it's done and see how it turns out. So currently right now we have the little 3D Benchy model printing away. And for bed adhesion, I thought I would try using my favorite glue stick, the Elmer's Extreme. And so far, I have to say that this stuff looks like it's holding, considering that when I did the Marvins, I had to resort to ABS juice. So we'll see how it works out overall, but so far, so good. So I'll give you guys some close-ups so you can get a good shot of it. I found that it was actually pretty easy to print with. There was very minimal warping issues. I didn't run into too many odor problems, but please print ABS in a well-ventilated area. Just because you can't smell anything doesn't mean that nasty chemicals aren't being released in the process. That said, I did notice that there was a definite sheen difference between the two materials. This is a sample of Feel Color ABS, which was another sample that was sent to me from the print show by Cam, and I found that it has a bit more of a surface gloss than the eSun filament does. I have some photos to compare it with. And I also did a Benchy in XT by Color Fab, which is a very high gloss filament. And the sheen difference between the two is very easy to tell. So that being said, if you're looking for a shiny filament, this isn't going to give you that kind of an effect. But if you just want a cheap filament that you can print with, get some decent models, acetone vapor polish it and paint it, it's definitely the way to go. So in the near future, I'm hoping to get some more filament on hand so I can film a larger model for you guys and we can go from there. So I'll leave you off with some photos and if you have questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you have any ABS printing tips as well, please leave them as I'm totally new to the game and I want to learn what I can. So until next time, see you guys later.